Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Torrance Thoughts. I know you're looking at this background. Hold up. So, yeah. Uh, thoughts today are on here. Porosity. Um, that's what everybody calls it, but it's about your hair cuticles. So we'll talk about that a second. Uh, but first, I got a green screen. One of you sent it to me. I don't know who, because nobody sends me notes or lets me know things are coming. It was a surprise. I'm very excited. I'm still not perfect on the lighting. There's probably some weirdness happening over here. I tried really hard. At first, it was like weirdness halfway down. So hopefully this looks okay. I don't know. Bear with me while I learn about green screens. Um, although I do know my hair is going to have a green halo no matter what because of the frazzle, which is also why I have chosen to talk about hair porosity today. Um, also, because one of my lovelies, uh, whose YouTube handle is Rainbow Raw Shine, recently uploaded a very informative video all about um, your hair's porosity, which is how able it is to um, soak up moisture or not, um, how to test so you can find out if you are low, normal, or high, et cetera, et cetera. I am not going to go over everything she went over because it was very informative and she covered it. Um, so I will link to her video down here if you would like. Um, if this is something that's unfamiliar to you and you would like to learn more, go visit Miss Rainbow. Um, so basically what porosity is, because um, everybody's like, oh, it's the pores of the hair. Your hair doesn't really have pores. It has cuticles, though. Um, just like cuticles on your fingernails, uh, nails and hair, very come from the same place. Um, so um, if your hair is very, very healthy or very, very fine and silky, you probably have uh, what they refer to as low porosity, which means the cuticles um, on your hair shaft kind of line up like, like, like this and no moisture, no moisture is going to get through there. Um, so if you've tried coconut oil, it might not have worked. It might have just sat right on top of your hair, never soaked in, and you're like, I don't know, this doesn't work for me. Um, it's because uh, there's not a lot of room for moisture to get in there. Uh, normal, the cuticles sit like this, right? Um, they overlap. Normal, they overlap. If it's high porosity, which means you've got some damage, they kind of do this number. So lots of stuff can get in there. Um, if you dye your hair, you probably notice uh, towards the ends of your hair where there will be the most damage, um, where the cuticles are going to be all funky like this, um, that it'll take the color really well, but that color comes out super fast too. Um, that would be the high porosity. So my own personal hair type is normal to high as you go down the strand. I'd actually say right up here near my scalp, it's probably low. Um, but my hair is old. So in one individual strand of hair, um, it will go from low all the way to high. And as you can see my ends right now, they look haggard. Um, the reason my ends are looking especially, they're not split, but they are thirsty. Uh, the reason they are looking especially rough is because for the past month, I have been trying various heatless curling methods. So that is a lot on the ends. That is that is a lot of, of, I have lost the word, manipulation. That is a lot of manipulation on the ends. There's a lot of pinning. And my ends have been touched a whole bunch <laughs> this month. Um, also, because they were curling methods, some of the methods work better than others. And um, I brushed out curls with my tangle teaser. So that has made them look really rough. Um, so they are thirsty and they need moisture. Um, this also means that next month in our tries, I'm going to be trying various uh, hair masks and uh, deep conditioning methods to get my hair back in shape. Um, so what does all of this mean for you? Um, like I said earlier, if you were one of my girls with that really super silky fine hair, you probably have very low porosity hair, which means that your hair doesn't really want to take a lot of moisture. Um, so when you try various oils and deep conditioning treatments, you're not going to really notice much except that it's sitting on top. Um, and that's why. So what you're going to need is a much thinner oil. And I didn't even realize it um, until I saw Rainbow actually have some almond oil. 
uh, which is super thin oil. Um, I myself use coconut because I am in the normal to high range. Um, if you have a high um, hair porosity level, um, you can use the olive oil. Um, I can't. Mine isn't quite high enough for olive oil. Olive oil sits on top of my hair, but coconut oil soaks right in. Um, jojoba oil is thinner than coconut oil, and it soaks right in for me, um, which is why I suggested coconut oil for a lot of my finer hair girls. Well, ladies, look into almond oil because it's even thinner, and that might be the one that really soaks well into your hair. Uh, Rainbow even said that uh, she used coconut oil and wasn't really getting many results, but the almond oil made a big difference. So um, you need a much thinner oil for your oily needs. Um, and like I said, if you're a high porosity like this mess that's happening right now at the ends, like I could probably olive oil this and it would be fine. But that also means that coconut oil and jojoba will suck right in as well. Um, so that's also cool. Uh, but it was uh, the, the whole porosity thing is something I didn't really think about, I have to say. Um, I mean, I knew what mine was, so I know which oils do and don't work, but I never went over it on my channel, which is my bad. And I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you're looking to get more moisture into your hair, you will need to explore some options as to what your hair will definitely soak up better than some other things. Like you don't want anything too thick and heavy if you're on the low end. And if you are on the high end, bring on the thickness. Um, which probably explains why I really love thicker conditioners and things because I am normal to high. Uh, my hair is old and I manipulate it a lot. So it gets a little more wear and tear than some other girls. Like if you wear your hair in a bun every day, you probably have very little damage. I don't. <laughs> so I get a little more damage. My cuticles, instead of laying so lovely, kind of do this. Um, and that's okay. I just keep adding moisture. And then I seal them with cones. Um, probably the best way to seal down your hair shafts is to um, cold water rinse. Um, because when it's hot, everything opens up. Um, and when it's cold, everything shuts down. So cold water rinse. Um, but I myself, I'm a cone girl just makes everything nice and smooth. Um, yes, but that's me. If you are not a cone person, then go for the cold water rinse. Just saying. Okay. So that's all. That's all I wanted to talk about with you guys today was just, um, making sure that you knew how to, to figure out what your porosity is. Go see rainbow. It's all about a cup of water and seeing if your hair either floats, sits in the middle or sinks to the bottom, then you'll know. Um, which incidentally is low, normal, high. Um, and then, uh, yeah, uh, trying to find the best oils for you because to me, oiling is a really great thing to keep your hair healthy, um, as healthy as you can. And, uh, especially for those of you who are like me and manipulate it a little bit more, or maybe you lighten it, or maybe you love your heat tools, which is all fine. Um, but you know, baby your hair if you're going to torture, torture it as well. It's all, you know, give and take. So uh, yeah, I just wanted you to be more aware so that you're not like, well, oiling doesn't work for me. Maybe you haven't found the right oil yet. We have to experiment. It's experimentation. It's fun. Think of it as like chemistry. We can all be mad scientists. Okay. Um, that's it for me for today. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow for Assorted Sundries, where we will talk about the Ipsy Glam Bag that I got. And um, we will talk about what is up for next month, um, because next week is my week off. Woot! Okay, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great day. Bye!